Welcome to Smoky Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are back for some due diligence for the Dark and Wild album. The track list I seen didn't have Look Here on it. I've been told Look Here needs to be on there, and then Sophomore was confused with the second something. I have that video to the left tab of this one we're on now, but I'm wrapping these up so we can call this album finished, and then I will have heard everything, and I think that covers this era of the BTS situation. Uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for joining me. Please do hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description, and let's see what we got. What's poppin' girl? Do my nanne? What's wrong with you? This feels sound like some Pharrell shit right here. Fuck, what is that shit? Ah, it's like Justin Timberlake Pharrell era type vibes. I can't remember the name of the record right now. These are two very ravenous things. Bees are ravenous for flowers and fucking bears? Jesus Christ, these are some strong sentiments we are sending out. <laughs> I don't know why this gives me Childish Gambino vibes. I don't know why. It's giving me a little bit of that. Now, when she's crying because it's too late because we didn't figure out all of her char her beautiful charms, is this because we told her, Shorty, we need to be the one, but she said no, and now she's crying because she's missed out on the opportunity of being with us? So that's why she's crying, and then her she's trying to use her feminine guiles to to get us to acquiesce. Is this what we're saying in this moment? <laughs> This that toxic young shit. This that I get it now. I get it now. Don't even hey, don't even explain it to me. I I should have waited a couple more lines. I get it now. This is this is some little nigga energy. This is some for real little nigga energy. Because I've texted Shorty at least ten times. And what does that one text message say? Is it I don't have time yet to respond to the rest of our conversation, so I'll be back? Or is it like when I used to get texted ten times and I'd respond and just be like, okay. And then just move on with my day. Because if it's the latter, cool. If it's the former, you just you gonna have to hold that. Because when you're dealing with a woman that actually has shit going on in her life, you might text Shorty fifteen times in a day and only hear back from her at three o'clock in the morning when she's going to sleep. And that's just gonna have to be okay. And guess what? They're not actually doing anything you don't like. They're doing the thing that just annoys us, living life, and I want attention from my baby. So that's just annoying, but that's just how you got to deal with shit. Plus, also, that requires communication to have that type of dynamic. <laughs> No, I like that. Uh, I like that.
and that nigga J Hove had no business spinning this bitch as hard as he just spun it. God damn. Hey, that nigga had a little pocket. <laughs> Oh, these niggas is haters, mate. The fucking hate is real. Chrome wanna just die on a real nigga like that? That's how you hear about life? Chill, mate, chill, mate. That's not even the song we was on. We was on this record. So people keep messaging me today while I'm fucking I'm doing reactions. The messages have been premium. Premium. Oh, fuck. I didn't even think about putting one of those pictures up. But damn it, I should have. Damn, I don't even have one of those. That's what it is. It's like Pharrell and Prince made a record together because the vocals on here feel very Prince-like. That's that's why I felt the Childish Gambino thing. But this is pre-Gambino era, especially Redbone. So this is for sure not Gambino. It's Prince. It's Prince and Pharrell. That's what I'm trying to say. Some nasty little niggas. Your charms are exploding. Come and give them to me. Come on, boy. What you say about life? Some rich nigga moves. Isabel, Isabel Maron. Let's 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 learn some shit today. This is some fancy nigga shit because I don't know the name. Isabel Maron. Who the fuck is that? What have they been selling in this world? Give me images. Have I seen these products before? Oh, she's a person as well. Shorty is a fashion designer. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, why is this so possible? Providing wearable clothing for both men and women inspired by her personal wardrobe needs. So we are doing, so she's a female Rick Owens. She designs clothes she wants to wear and other people want to wear them and she designs for men and women. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I didn't know who Shorty was. Wait, what's the ticket on something? That how much, what's, what's her thing gonna cost me? The, you're visiting, uh, whatever. Whatever, reject all. Fuck that. You're not getting my information. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Give me some shit. Sheesh. Those shorts are fucking ugly. Fucking ugly. Jesus Christ, those shorts are ugly. They look comfy, but they fucking look ugly. Uh, yeah, so it's about 800 for a bag? Shit. Shit. Okay. Yes, rich nigga flexes. Shout out to my nigga. Shout out to my nigga. All right. It's a bummer, baby. Go and take a care. Come and show me what you got. You sexy girl. Now they could get you nowhere. Next time you're up. Only get on it. It's a heavy job and you can all. More, more than cool shit. Go get on. God damn it. This, this is the worst part about being American sometimes. The fuck is 99 kg? How big is this girl? 15. Motherfucker. I don't, I don't care about stone. Pounds. <laughs> this nigga arm like I'm thick. I gotta make sure I check this shit right. Yeah, come and show me what you got. You sexy girl. Now they go get you nowhere. Next time you put it on and it's a heavy job and you can all. 99 kgs. That's 99 kgs. Namarcus. That nigga try to get to the barbecue one way or another, goddammit. 218. 
Whoo, he like him thick. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, my boy. Go ahead. The skinny nigga want them thickums. Go ahead. Hey, shout out to Namarcus, cuz. Wait, 99 kg? Oh, he's a smart cunt. He's a smart cunt. I like this nigga. J Hope and RM are out here slap boxing for best verse on this song. I have to say, I have to say. I'm actually kind of upset I missed this when doing the album because I probably would have picked this as one of my favorite songs or a song I really did enjoy off of the album because Look Here is a quality record off of the album. I really do enjoy this one. Uh, it will have to be 1A, 1B for RM and uh, J-Hope for best verse on here. Sugar did his bits in the beginning. No disrespect. It was cute. It was really good. But the shit that... The pocket J Hope had just is just is a beautiful pocket for a verse. Doesn't matter what a nigga's talking about. Really good flow. What he was talking about is also something I resonate with. However, RM decided to turn into the Korean push a T and tell me about fancy things that I've not heard about. And that's some of my favorite things to get from rappers. Is like one, you have a lived experience that you can articulate very well in your rhymes, but you can put me on to some shit that I just wouldn't fucking know about. So this is why I'm going to have to say it's a 1A, 1B situation, and then Sugar can have second place. Uh, song as a whole, I call it Song a 9, quality record, enjoyed every bit of it. I even like Dial 6137, yeah, the little visual they have for this, it really works well for the song. That said, though, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for joining me. Please do hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.